Almost 400 million years ago, some adventurous fish made a huge leap that eventually led to the evolution of humankind. They decided to come up on land. We humans probably would never have evolved the intelligence we have today if not for that move onto land. Why? Because it vastly improved our eyesight. According to neuroscientist Malcolm McIver, the way we think about the world is closely tied to what we can see. And fish can't see a whole heck of a lot. That's mainly because light doesn't travel very far in water. Our ancient fish ancestors lived their lives in a constant fog, so their brains evolved to react quickly to whatever suddenly appeared on the horizon. McIver had a theory that the move to land expanded our aquatic ancestors' vision, and in turn, their brains. To test his theory, he and paleontologist Lars Schmitz spent a year running simulations with fossil data. Their research revealed new clues about why fish came onto land in the first place. It all seems to have started when the first fish peaked above the water's surface. Suddenly it was able to see 70 times further. And behold, a smorgasbord of tasty land dwellers. To capitalize on this discovery, the fish would have to evolve. Its eyes soon moved to the top of its head and tripled in size. And its fins began evolving into limbs so that it could stalk its new prey like a crocodile. Hunting on land was a mental game changer for the early tetrapods. Their total sensory volume increased a millionfold, giving them a much bigger window into the future. The first animal that figured out how to plan accordingly instead of just reacting would have had a huge evolutionary advantage. Iterate that kind of natural selection a million times and eventually we have something called prospective Millions of years ago, on a beautiful island, in the middle of a jungle, there was a habitat teeming with life. In a small pool of water, there lived a very happy and loving family of fish. Every day in the life of this family was filled with fun swimming in the warm, clean waters and eating plenty of fresh food. There was never a dull moment for this family. Until one dry season, when the water in their pool began to evaporate. Day by day, the water withered, and there was no sign of rain in the sky. The family was scared and panicky, as they knew that the ultimate end of their species was upon them. Just when all hope was lost, a young, healthy fish cried out for their attention. They looked over at him and saw something they had never seen before. But this fish had the genes to grow legs and walk on land. No longer would he be bound by the water, limited by its shrinking state. He was going to walk on land. And as he took his first few heroic steps on dry ground and his first breath of air, he suffocated. Nuts. But luckily, there was oh. another fish with legs oh. who also had the genes to breathe out of water. He then turned around to wave goodbye to his dying family when he was burned to death by the scorching sun. Yet another fish came along oh. with legs and lungs, and the scales on his back were oh. tough as stone, which no sun could scorch. He traversed the land determined to survive, but his weak eyes failed him, and he fell down a hole and died. Another fish came, who was lucky enough to have been born with all the previous fish's genes. Plus, he had a gene that gave him perfect vision. He used his superior sight to find food, but... No food existed on land that could be digested by his stomach, and so he starved to death. The next fish stepped up with an advantage over the others. He had a stomach fit for land food. One day, as he grazed on the fresh food, he fell victim to a larger, more fit land animal who made a meal out of him. The fish after that, oh. along with all the previous genes, was endowed with a gene to make him larger and less eatable. He used his size to climb his way to the top of the food chain, where he lived for a long time. He lived life to the fullest and grew old. 
He had been naturally selected over all of his lesser fit brothers to survive, but without a mate to help pass his genes on, Uh the fate of his species came to an end as he lay on the ground waiting for the maggots to decompose his filthy remains. Mm. Will not another fish come and save this species? Yes! Just then, a better fish than all who preceded him came equipped with so many genes that there was nothing on dry land that could bring him down. Plus, he had a wife. So he and his wife bore children and lived for a long time. When finally, the rain began to pour again. The fish was so excited, he gathered all his children and wife and jumped into a pool where they all drowned. 